Just think about this. Nobody in DMV will have to worry about Aunt Glizzy doing anything to y'all. Don't look y'all don't try to harm Aunt Glizzy. I'm harmless. I don't carry no guns. I don't be on shoot 'em up time. I don't be outside looking for niggas to get into it with nothing. I just be enjoying my life, talking my little shit, enjoying my life. Like, I don't even be on tough time. I actually be on funny time more than tough time. When I'm outside, I hold doors. Everybody that walks past me or behind me, I hold the door for them, bro. I still see old ladies. Like, I can see an old lady walking across the street. Like, you know them old ladies that ain't supposed to be outside moving around by themselves. I go help them with their bags. I hold doors for them. I'm a good person. I'm a good citizen, good civilian. I don't wish no bad on nobody. I'm not trying to harm nobody. So all this gangster shit, I don't care about the gangster shit. I'm protected by God. I swear to God, every nigga that ever tried to harm me, something happened to him. I'm protected by God. I never did nothing to nobody. Every nigga that tried to, tried to do something to me fell off or something happened to him. I swear to God, they either fell off, they embarrassed themselves, or they died. It's no in-betweens. It fell off. And burst these over died. Nobody ever got into me and got away with it. Who the fuck got into me and got away with it? Shaq Lizzie falling off career, Taliban somewhere in a motherfucking prison cell. Just fucked himself up for life. A rack of other niggas. Like these niggas, like, I swear to God, they in they self. These niggas die, fall off, or embarrass they self. You better off leaving me alone. I'm protected by God. I ain't got to do none of these niggas. I don't do none of, none of these niggas. law abiding citizen, YouTube when I got Yeah, I'm a law abiding citizen, I swear. I obey the law. Like, when I see the police, I'm not mad at the police. If, the po if I'm outside and the police tell me move, you think I'm mad at the police? I ain't mad at the police. I'm, they doing their job. I realize that, like... I'm not even arguing with no police officers for doing their job, none of that. For overdoing their job, I'm not doing none of that. I'm, I'm just a citizen. Fuck you smiling at. Are they both empty? No, that thing's empty? One of them's already open. No, this one been here since yesterday. That's not empty. I just was using it for the jump. That jump empty? No, but that's a different place. But this is a burning one. Only reason I put the. I took that one out because I knew that one was burning. But I'm only using it though. Huh? Yeah. 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 That jump empty. Yeah. Yeah. That's not empty. Yeah. Yeah. That's not empty. Yeah. Yeah. That jump. When I be charging my phone, it put it to the roof. Say, do you pray? Pray. My life is a prayer. I'm a walking fucking testimony. I'm a piece of God's fucking work. I'm a piece of shit ass nigga from the ghetto who take care of himself, who got his own everything. I take care of my family. I do everything I'm supposed to do, bro. I'm blessed, bro. I swear to God, I'm a walking fucking testimony. All my friends are dead. <laughs> Pray. only thing separating me from this shit is probably Bible and church, bro. Pray, bro. I over pray, but this is how my prayers go. My prayers, I'm like, God, I wish for a million dollars. My prayers be, thank you, God, for waking me up. I can get a million dollars on my own. I don't need God to help me get to a million dollars. I need God to just believe in me to wake me up. I can do the rest. I don't ask God for nothing. I thank him. I'm going to give you a scenario. You only call God phone when you want something. He don't know your number. I call God Monday through Friday. He got my number saved. You just call when you want some gear scenario. A random number just pop up on your phone. Is you about to answer it? So you randomly popping up on God's phone with a prayer. You think he about to answer it? No, the fuck he ain't. He don't even know your number. He ain't answering that number. But I check in with God. I text him. How you doing? Thank you, God. You having a good day? I'm having a good day. I don't want nothing from you. I just check up with him on a regular basis. So he saved my number. He stored it. So if I call on God in the middle of the night, he might answer my prayers because my number is in his phone. We have a relationship. You feel me? You don't have a relationship with God to just ask him for things. Like somebody dying in your family right now or somebody you know, about to die in your family and they go to the hospital. You're going to pray for them, right? Why are you going to pray for them? Because they die. You could have had a relationship with God and God would have answered your prayer. He don't know you. He don't know you to answer your prayers. That's how I look at this shit. <laughs> Could have been a past. I talk to God on the regular. We build a relationship. So when I do need him, he might answer my prayers faster. He answer a little bit faster for me because we have a relationship. You know what I'm saying? You just only call when he needs you. He don't recognize you. The whole fucking world is calling on him. How do he know to pick you? He don't know that number. 
Got to build a relationship with him. Once you build a relationship with him, you might go straight through. He say he in the contact. You know what I'm saying? Do a little bit more than pray, bro. I got faith, bro. I got all this shit from God. All this shit. I ain't get this shit because of me. If this shit was up to me, bro, I probably would have been down on my own, bro. I've been through some shit, bro. I made it through this faith. This shit on faith. I scrap of God, bro. I swear this shit had to be.